Darman is supposed to be changing lives, but instead, it seems like he's ruining them. Darman, the YouTuber whose entire channel is prefaced of having a moral high ground, is seemingly getting exposed for not having one himself. If you don't know of Darman, he is a successful YouTuber and entrepreneur who posts four short films on his channel every single week. These short films that he uploads get millions of views and they're dedicated to tackling thought-provoking moral issues in society. He creates the these cheesy and what some people think cringy storylines and off the type of content he posts, you'd think that most of his content would be geared towards an audience of young kids. Darman owns and manages a video production company known as Darman Studios, and he probably wouldn't have thought that just a few years down the road, he'd have his own actors protesting outside of his studio against alleged mistreatment. You guys, if you don't respect us, like, we're gonna show, show up and we're gonna show you that we need you don't get to go around acting like you're a moral guru when you treat the people who helped make you like crap. It's not fair. And okay. he's not going to be able to spread, pretend that he spreads good messages when he doesn't treat the people around him. Hey. So. Darman lives this luxurious lifestyle with his wife and kids now, but it seems like he's not reciprocating even remotely a decent amount of energy to his actors. That played a huge contribution to where he's at today. And I'm talking to the point where they're claiming they aren't even able to afford rent. Not a single actor that works at Darman Studios can afford rent. This is a show that has millions of views across multiple social media platforms. Over this past week, major actors that worked for Darman Studios' YouTube channel have spoken out to shed light on their ongoing issue of being considered contractors and not actual employees for the extremely successful channel. These past few days, as more and more actors have been coming out, Darman has only been coming under fire after people are hearing what these actors are having to say about their boss. I'm gonna be brutally honest, I was really afraid and still am very afraid to press post on this video, much less record it. Listen, it's true, Darman has not been scaling his actor's pay as he has become a multi, multi, multi-millionaire. We are incredibly lucky, but I agree that the culture is not right and I don't subscribe to a big brother agenda where you can't say anything and you're fired if you do. So I'd rather look at this like an opportunity for Darman to practice what he preaches. And I think it's time I stand for those people and I can't sit here and silently take word from Darman until this is addressed. You'd think that on a channel that regularly gains millions of views per video on just YouTube alone that there wouldn't be any issues with the pay to those who are helping actually produce the videos behind the scenes. Charles Lawlin, one of the actors, recently took to his Instagram story and revealed that several of the other actors also resorted to protesting. He said, We asked for a meeting and we were told that we would not be given a meeting. He also posted a screenshot on his Instagram story that read, What happens when you ask for a meeting? Officially fired. Hashtag protest Darman. And in the screenshot, it seemed as if one of the actors was fired via email that read, We are emailing to inform you that you are no longer needed for this role, Jessica, on this date, February 9, 2023. Thank you. So in short, there is a protest going on at Darman Studios. And this protest is being organized and performed by a lot of actors who work with Darman. There are a lot of reasons why we're protesting, but the main one being we asked for a meeting with Dar because we were unhappy with the way we were being treated here at Darman Studios. Ultimately, we were told we would not get that meeting. If you want the full in-depth breakdown, Colin A. Borden has a great video on his page. It's it's got everything we need. Because we have no other choice and because we feel like we would be retaliated against for even asking for a meeting because that's what the culture feels like here at Darman Studios, we have decided to gather and protest. We want a meeting with Darman and until we get one, this actor also claimed that there was some not so great stuff that was happening at the studio. However, even though he didn't address the specifics, a day later, another actor came forward and she shared a really concerning incident about her experience working at the studio with Darman. And so concerning that she felt like her life was at risk over a TikTok video she claimed she had to do at Darman's studio. Check out what she had to say. Hi guys, Jazz and Nicolette here. Um... If you're watching this video, you might know my work from Darman Studios. And this is a very scary thing to talk about. 
and it's a very emotional one for me so i'm gonna try to get through it without crying i was doing a tiktok video with dar and it was around halloween time so he was supposed to be chasing me with a weapon and there was a security guard on set and dar was asking what weapon should i use i was assuming that it was going to be a not real weapon a prop weapon. but he turns to the security guard the security guard gives him a real knife and points the knife at me and I immediately was shocked and paralyzed, didn't know what to do. I felt so unsafe that there was a knife being pointed at me to do a TikTok video. And this is Dar himself. I said I was unsafe. I had to reiterate that I felt unsafe doing this, um, him pointing a knife at me to do this little skit for TikTok and Finally, the director of the shoot said, we don't have to use a real knife, we can use the spatula. I then proceeded to run out of the studio crying. I had a complete meltdown. There was no assistant directors on TikTok video productions. There was only one director and a few actors, and that was just really unacceptable. Something like that happening and they told me that there was going to be change and the change wasn't regulated and it wasn't enforced and it really changed how I view Darman. And for that, I stand with the actors. I stand still pro protesting Darman. Thank you for watching this video. It was really hard to get through. I'm sorry if I... Um, emotional because it is a very emotional thing another actor who goes by Meyer Mulroney also took to her Instagram to publicize her protest and in her post she poked fun at the way Darman titles his videos saying multi-millionaire ignores actors instantly regrets it now as you guys can expect many people on social media were extremely disappointed to hear about all these things being said about Darman and it completely changed their attitude towards how they view him as a person saying things like he doesn't do good by other people and that it seems hypocritical that he doesn't seem to be following the same message he's preaching all over his channel. Yo bro, I thought Darman was at least better than this. I'm actually so shocked. Ain't no way Darman got exposed for underpaying his employees and firing a lot of people. He was teaching life lessons and morals and can't even follow his own advice. As he said, whatever's in the dark comes to light. Another user said, no way Darman is firing the actor who made his channel what it is. The OGs are getting fired. Bro, this is insane. Darman made so many videos that his life turned into one of them. Anyways guys, this has been what's been going on with Darman and all the accusations coming out about him from former actors. I definitely want to know what you guys think about the situation in the comments down below. I love you guys so much and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.